Okay, hello everybody and welcome to the series between Brown University and New York University. Now, this series is quite interesting, I have never watched it before, but I believe it is going to be amazing from the little I saw before. New York University is, in, yeah, New York University is a really powerful university in the CSL, they are ranked in the top 20 I think. I'm actually confident about it. Never mind, I don't think. I'm sure they're ranked in the top 20. And no, I'm not sure about Brown, but I believe they are really good too, simply because they're playing NYU and from what I saw, they gave NYU a run for the money. So let's get right into the game. And spawning as our teal products we have Freddy. Freddy is going to be playing for Brown University. And at the opposite side of the map, at the left side of the map, we have Nerf Panda as the light pink product. is going to be playing for New York University. So as you guys realize this map is actually a 1v1 map. It's also featured in the JSL and it's the map that I've always forgotten the name about. If that makes sense. So, this map for some reason also kind of likes my computer, I think, a little bit. But I've seen amazing games in this map. So, right now we don't see any deviation from either of the players. None is going for any kind of cheese, actually. I think. Is he currently boosting anything? Oh no, why is he saving his current boost? Is he going to rush? I think Nerf Panda might just be going for a rush. Or he might have just forgotten how to play. Hopefully it's the first. I'll be actually really shocked if he's not going for a rush right now. He has a lot of Chronobus saved up. Not like Freddy who's actually sp spending it and... Especially this stage, just look at the income right now. See how Freddy... Okay, Freddy, don't make me look bad. Never mind. Um, am I done? Okay, no, never mind. What? How is Nerf Panda having a better income? Did he kind of boost better? What? Okay, sorry guys, this just doesn't make sense to me. Let's go to the workers count. Well, neither of the workers has died, so I don't know why I would say that. No, the worker count. Why isn't it coming up? Uh, anyways, let's not put it in. Lost. Oh my god. So I was. Control A. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was hitting the wrong key, sorry. No wonder. Hmm. Interesting though. Somehow Nerf Panda is able to maintain even even though he doesn't. Trying to bust anything out of his nexus. But it doesn't matter. Let's get back into the game. So we see Freddy controlling the Selnaga Tower, which in this case looks exactly like a gateway. But that's because it's this map. It's not a ladder map, as you guys know. I mean, I would be shocked if you guys had played the ladder and played in this map. Anyways, Freddy has taken his second guess way before Nerf Panda, but Nerf Panda I think he's only going to go for a 3 gate simply because he didn't chronobust anything out of his nexus at the beginning plus he stopped making probes already in the worker count this time I'll hit the red key we see them even neither of them is producing workers which should mean that Nerf Panda is actually getting more minerals than his opponent at this moment and let's check that exactly see I was right, finally I'm right. I'm glad about it. So, I see the strategy from Nerf Panda. He's going for an insanely quick warp gate research. I mean, he's basically optimized as the timing as he's twice as quick from his opponent. And Freddy actually knows that this attack is going because I totally missed these pylons. Anyways, is a warp going to happen? Oh, it, may, it may seem that 
his attempt is actually going to be failed. Nerf Panda loses both for Pylons. And... No, he's out of a rush. He cannot rush at all in right now. And he had the three gates ready for the air aggression. Now I would say that he might be behind. Especially because never mind. Here we go. He warped in some units. That should mean that he's safe, especially because Fred is moving out at the second. Both players have started producing one second probes, so that's good, always. I know Nerf Panda is actually looking for proxy pylons, I believe. Just to make sure that Freddy doesn't go nuts on him. Now Freddy, Freddy, is he going to venture up those stairs or ramp actually? That's a ramp. Now we see a Stargate coming out of Nerf Panda, actually a really interesting choice. And this Zealot... Oh my god, Freddy from the low ground is able to snipe a Stalker. And that actually puts Freddy one stalker ahead of Nerf Panda. Now Nerf Panda is forced to warp in some units that he probably didn't want to simply because he believes that he's in the need to defend right now. But Freddy is actually controlling this game. And in the live game, there was a pause, as you guys see. But Blizzard is amazing, and we don't have to see through that pause. So apparently, Freddy has had his hotkeys messed up. That's good that he fixed them because they would have messed up the whole matchup, right? So going back to Fre uh, Nerf Panda's base, we see him still warping, warping in some units. And what is he producing? A Phoenix! We see two Phoenixes in production for Nerf Panda. The first one has completed, the second one is, is about to complete. Well, not really, it's just started. But Phoenixes don't take really much time to build so they come out really quick see now it is finally going to complete well at the same time we see Freddy is he moving out again I mean well going back Freddy actually produced a robotics facility no oh I think Freddy might have seen this probe or he, he's just checking for this pylon and just as a perfect time as it is being built so this pylon is going to have to be cancelled, is it going to cancel it? Yes, there we go. Better to lose only 25 minerals than 75 always. And Freddy, actually with this observer, has spotted these phoenixes. Or this phoenix at least. Then he knows that there are an array two phoenixes back at the base. Oh, Freddy has also completed a warp gate and he's producing phoenixes out of it. So... That means that at least these phoenixes are going to be a little bit repelled. They're going to be busy just trying to deal with their own kind. And that also means that Freddy is ahead in when it comes to tech. Even though both of them are one base. And they should have probably expanded by now. Especially because Nerf Panda does have the minerals for it. Now once again Nerf Panda is throwing out so much aggression. And he has to run away because there were some more stalkers warped in. Now, I do not really agree with this choice of robotics facility for Nef Panda. I actually would have loved to to see a Twilight Council so that he would have got the link, and he could actually just simply link all around the base of of Freddy, but he didn't. So right now we just see Nerf Panda actually taking the initiative of expanding first. His expansion is going to be halfway there finally. And Freddy has started his. Now both players are actually really reserved. Though Freddy has a lot of sea lots at this moment. While Freddy is more focused on the immortals. Now both players are just sitting there. And oh my god, that's a lot of phoenixes. Um, I'm actually impressed by the number. That's that's big, guys. That's a scary number of phoenixes, especially in a PvP. Now these stackers are going to repel them for sure, but oh my god, they're able to snipe a single probe and then just run away, no problem. 
we see them being joined by more phoenixes and both players are basically doing the same and freddy has actually taken the initiative of starting the twilight console before his opponent which is the way to go especially at this stage of the game no i would like to see one of these players go for the plus one weapons but i guess that can wait especially because both players i don't really think they have the economy to support that kind of play now nerf pen is actually 10 supply ahead of his opponent that's a really big deal especially because he has a ton of phoenixes compared to his opponent right now he has seven phoenixes which are going to be attacking at an angle i think i think yes there oh but he sees the f his opponent's phoenixes and he's going to try to snipe one is he going to get it oh my god the phoenixes wars begins no his own phoenixes move out and his opponent's phoenixes have repositioned to be closer to stackers and that way to be safe so fred is actually researching silo speed silo charge just charge while his opponent is supply cap momentarily and there we go he finally gets out of the supply cap and I believe Nerf Pen is getting ready for some aggression, and there we go. Yes, he is getting ready for some aggression. Oh my god, is this a pylon? No, never mind. That's not a pylon. That's only a forward probe. And oh, Fred is going for Templar Archives. I don't know if I, I agree with this choice. I don't know how I feel about that choice, but. Hopefully it's the right one. No, he has two forward probes and one forward pylon. Nerf Panda, that's actually a pretty weird choice. He probably forgot about this probe or he's just doing it there in order to check for any hidden expansion, I guess. I really don't know what the probe is doing there. Anyway, so Nerf Panda with a 20 supply lead is moving out. He sent some units to just check the waters and he does find out that he's opponent has silo charge yeah I know it's called charge I don't know why I'm saying silo charge I've never said that it's just charge so Carlos calm down right anyways we see nerf panda just trying to position himself perfectly for his attack while Freddy has built some archons and that's a really nice decision simply because the the immortals can get picked up but the archons can and oh my god undefended probes are intercepted by the phoenixes and the phoenixes move way faster than the probes so they're gonna be able to pick up more probes but nerf panda actually decides not to do it and oh my god freddy seems to be out of position but no oh my god nerf panda has his silots stuck behind his stackers and we see the mass lifting begin both players are actually doing a great job lifting the units but remember those archons they're doing massive damage and now we see nerf panda having to move out Nerf Panda, who had a 20 supply lead, has to begin to retreat. Those charge silots are really powerful against Nerf Panda's army. And Nerf Panda dropping in some reinforcements, but Freddy's army is just too powerful. Now Nerf Panda is the one at a 50 supply deficit. The forward supply is being taken down, and Freddy begins his final move to kill his opponent. I don't think... Nerf Band is going to be able to survive this attack, but we'll just have to watch. Now Freddy begins trying to kill some of N Nerf Panda's units. And oh my god, just look at those charged silots. I bet those charged silots could actually do a lot by themselves. Like he, he probably doesn't even need to send the, the rest of his army. Now this expansion is for sure going to die. There we go, it dies. And oh my god, we see more Archons joining in. And um, Nerf Panda throws down the GG. So, in this convincing manner, we see Freddy take game number one for. Who does Freddy play for? Okay, Brown University takes game one thanks to Freddy. And Nerf Panda has lost the first game in the series for New York University, which obviously means that. Brown University takes a 1-0 lead over New York University.
now just stay tuned because I'll be going into game number two pretty soon.